natural born killer. Breeds prolifically, spreads easily, and can survive almost anywhere. There you are, huh? That is the Australian redback spider. Mm. And I think it's a young female, perhaps even with her first clutch of eggs. It's hard to imagine that these redback spiders are Australia's most dangerous bug, but they are. Every year, some 250 people get bitten by redbacks, and they are only the really bad bites requiring anti venom. That's redbacks are closely related to black widow spiders. And just like their American cousins, it is the females who pack the punch. This girl can give you a serious bite. It's a nerve poison that can cause intense pain, and without anti-venom, you may die. Now, despite knowing all that, I'm quite prepared to feel what it's like to be a redback victim. But it's got nothing to do with the poison. Three, two, one. Redbacks use nature's very own reverse bungee web system to trap their prey. <laughs> of course, if I were really trapped in the redback spider snare, the only rush I would get is seeing the spider rushing up to me to bite me. Oh, man. Whoa. This is how their reverse bungee web system works. The redback sits up top, and down below, sticky, stretchy silk trap lines are loosely stuck to the ground. When the prey hits the web, the web lines release oh, no! and the red back pounces. Once lifted off the ground, the bug has nothing to lever itself on. There's no escape. Now she uses swathing silk to tightly wrap up her victim, which can be very large. She'd get big beetles from the ground, even lizards and small snakes. As long as she has enough trap lines to lift them off the ground, the victims are totally helpless. Now the bug is completely tied up, she moves in to deliver her venomous bite. Oh, that's a bite that has surgical precision. Although her toxins can kill a human being, she only gives her victim enough to paralyze it. And so she keeps her meat fresh for days. This is one lethal Australian. But here's something you might not know. If you look at lists of spiders in the 19th century, the redback is totally absent from this country. In fact, it isn't until 1870 that the first redback was found. And you know where? in the ports of Australia. Now, to me, that indicates that they've come in on boats. So it turns out that that famous Aussie biter might actually be an import.